G'day, Nick from Australian Native Bee here. Now today I went out to move some bees from a water meter to a box. Um, there was a lady there, Felicity, who helped me film this video. Thank you very much, Felicity. Um, but it's a question I get asked a lot. How do I move my bees from an old box to a new box? How do I move bees from a wall or in some bricks or wherever they may be into a new box? Uh, so I decided to uh, film this video today for people who have that very question. Now the resin that's around the hole here is uh, the bees recognise that and the smell of that as being the entrance. So we're going to put some of that there. I've come over here. Yep. Yeah. They might, a few might get on you. Oh, I've already had a lot. <laughs> Under here is the brood. So I'm just gently teasing the wax away here. This has got a bit of honey on it, but not heaps, so we're going to keep that. We want to minimise what honey and pollen we add to a hive because that is the thing that kills hives because it attracts pests so I'm just trying to avoid killing as many bees as possible and avoid breaking honey pots if I can what's all of those bees down there those little bee things these this is the brood or eggs of the stingless bee and that's what we're going to be transferring into a box this is pollen. Now the pollen and honey of stingless bees contains um, an enzyme that the bees build in their gut and it's pretty important to transfer at least a little bit of that for the bees uh, so they can um, remake that rather than having to oh, rather than having to do that. Oh. I think I ate a few too. So this one here's probably only got enough brood for one box, so we'll just do this big box here because the owners of this house already have this box in place. So I'm just gonna try and stay away from the edge of the brood as much as possible. And just gently cut round. Killing at least a few bees is sadly unavoidable. So this is where the queen is. She'll be in here somewhere. And the bees are really drawn to this. This is brew, uh, wax material that's been wet. And it's, it's unhealthy for the bees. So you get rid of that. If you see that. If the whole nest is like that, don't, don't bother. Now this, all this structure here can be added. So it's got next to no honey on it. If you add big honey pots like this bit here, you'll, you'll very quickly kill your nest. Can you just show me what that bit was again? What's the honey pot bit? Um, so these are the honey pots here. You can see the honey just oozing out of there. Mm. If you can, here's pollen we've been bitten now. If you can add just a few of those pollen pots, preferably intact. Mm -hmm. There you have it. I'm going to uh, get the rest of this material out, close the box up, cover that box with a uh, blanket and put this entrance as close as I can to where they were entering. And if you do all that, you should have a pretty successful. Oh, reduce this entrance down to, to only a few bees. Yeah. And how do you do that? I'm just using some of the nest material. Okay. I've got honey on my fingers, so it probably would be best to wipe that off afterwards, but reduce that hole right down. And that just means the guard bees can protect it better. Yeah, great. And that's how you do it. Wonderful. Thanks for that. No worries. So here's what we have. We've hidden the meter box under here with a light colored towel. 
and uh, you can see the bees are able to, this is where they were flying, roughly here, and now they're finding their way back into the home and by nightfall they should be all in there. You will get bees coming back going into the meter if they can, but uh, I've taped up the uh, water meter here. And once they're really established and going in and out, they know that's their home, they should be right. Teach me to stay.